Hi everyone. Welcome back to my bonsai show on YouTube after a three week hiatus for really hot weather, family obligations, and some really hectic things at work. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a fall repotting of a juniper, but first I'm going to show you how I make my bonsai soil. We start out with potting soil from the local uh, home store. Even says potting soil right on the bag. And to that we add pumice, decomposed granite, and builder's sand. And those are our four ingredients. And I just mix mine in an old wash bucket that I use. And I already have some in here, but I decided I needed a little more. So we'll just take a gardening trowel and add a couple of scoops of uh, our potting soil. Then we'll add a couple of scoops of agricultural pumice. And then we'll add some builder's sand. We also get that at the same home store where we get the potting soil. And then the decomposed granite and the pumice we get from our local bonsai nursery. In my case, House of Bonsai in Lakewood, California. And you can find a link to their website on my website, cruelmasterbonsai.com. Hi again, everyone. Now what we have here in front of us is a prostrata juniper. This was something that I acquired from uh, another bonsai collection. And this uh, tree was created by someone who understood the basics of bonsai, but uh, didn't have quite as much knowledge on shaping. So we put it in this rectangular bonsai pot and at this point we have a tree that has a couple of problems. We've got bar branches too low on the trunk and we've got a tree that can't decide whether it wants to be an upright or a semi cascade. What I decided to do is we're going to take off these two lower branches and we're going to turn it into a Bunjin or Literati style. These are trees that were inspired by the paintings of the Literati in medieval and ancient Japan. And we're going to re-incline it like this and put it in this nice hexagonal pot. Now the hexagonal pot is a little bit oversized for bonsai purposes, but it will give the tree an opportunity for a lot of future growth. And now we'll just do a slow 360 to show you some idea what it's going to look like after we finish the work. So let's get started now. First we'll set it on our turntable and we'll take the cutter and we'll take off these lower branches. Now for those who are wincing at the removal of these branches, don't worry I have a little plan to show you what you can do with these branches as well. Now this one I think we're going to leave a stub to make future deadwood out of. So we'll just take it off right there for now. And then we won't throw these branches away. We're going to set them aside and do something else with them. Now let's pull out the weeds. Fortunately there aren't too many. And then we'll ease the tree out of the pot. Now this is a small tree so it shouldn't be too much okay. It came up nicely. Looks like the previous owner wired the tree into the pot. We've got a little wire down here that I didn't know about. So I'm going to grab a wire cutter out of my toolbox. I'm going to use an electrician's cutter rather than a bonsai cutter for this. And then we'll just set this pot aside. And some lucky person may get that as a raffle prize at a future meeting of my bonsai club. Now we'll just take the cultivator and sort of uh, ease out the soil. Now here in California, this time of fall is a really good time to repot junipers because the hot weather is past. The tree is still growing slightly and slowly and you can see that on this with the bright green tips on the foliage. And uh, the tree is going to be going into dormancy. Now this one, you can see the soil is really matted here. 
And it looks like the previous owner put some sand or something in the bottom to help drainage, but it wasn't coarse enough. And this soil really did not drain very well at all. So we're just going to keep teasing out the soil here. And we'll try to preserve some of this moss growth when we repot it in. Now I'm not going to hose down the roots or try to decimate them on this tree. What I will try to do is save a little bit of the moss here. Now this is something you can do is just kind of take the moss with a thin layer of soil and set it aside and then we'll resume working this down. Now what you want to do when you start to get the root mass broken up is then start kind of looking at the new pot and seeing how well the tree is going to fit into it and what you have to take off to get it to fit. So we'll just take a little bit off of there. Now you can use any kind of scissors here, but it needs to be fairly sharp because you want the roots to be cut rather than crushed. Now we're getting very close to the final shape that we want and it'll fit in the pot really nicely. We've got a little bit of the old roots in here and I'm going to leave them in because sometimes you get a symbiotic fungus with junipers and pines and um, it, it helps to keep some of the old soil to keep the fungus culture going. Now that we've got the root mass where we want it, we'll just take our new soil and we'll shovel some into the pot and then in just a moment we will uh, set the tree into the pot. We're not going to wire this tree in because this is a fairly deep pot. Now we want to try to slope the soil and get the tree as close to its new planted position as possible. I'm going to look at it from the front. Yeah, this is quite a trunk inclination. So I'm going to need to do just a little bit more work on setting up the slope of the thing here. And we can just add in our soil. I want it to sit just a little higher here. So that you know, we may end up with a little bit of the old roots above the soil. That's okay. We can fix that later on. Just working on the angle here. I'll try to get this thing as close to a good angle as possible. Okay, now we're just going to backfill like we always do, finish out the repotting, and then we'll add on our moss and do a little bit of watering. Now you'll notice that the top of the tree is not quite at the right angle, and that's something we'll fix in a later video by doing a little bit of wiring. Do a uh, slow turn around so you can see the new repotted tree from all sides. Now this pot is a bit oversized for a bonsai and this tree is uh, really a pre-bonsai at this stage but keep watching for future videos and we'll show future work on this tree and show you where it goes. Thank you very much for watching folks.